in this video we will try and do something very very smart here and that is we want people to click this it will take them directly to create project page but on that page um, it will now list the companies so we don't want them to go back to companies page first of all and then uh, continue from there so we want them to click it and it will take them to create projects page directly so to do that we'll, we'll go back to our code and make sure that here we are doing a projects slash create but before then i want you to remember that in the routes here routes file here we've already in the past videos defined that it is optional that when someone wants to create a new project they can pass in the company id so what we're going to do in the project controller slash create is that if the company id is not passed in then uh, we should generate the list of companies owned by this person and pass it to the view tool. So what we'll do is to go to our projects create page, then we'll look for the create function. What we're basically doing here is uh, if the company ID is passed in, they will pass it to the view. So uh, what we're going to do is to check whether this company ID is actually passed in. So we are going to say if it exists then we have to get the list of companies before we get the list of companies we have to import companies i will do this and do company so right now we want to import the list of companies owned by this person that is logged in so we we'll do so uh, this is if the company id doesn't exist so we pass in the list of companies so we say uh let's just call it companies companies sorry i can't see my keyboard so i'm just typing out of the blue so companies and then we will call it company we'll do something like this where the user id is the id of the guy that is currently logged in and to do that we'll do of user then id and remember that to use of you have to import it so we will make sure that of facade as you can see here is imported so that we can use it so if we go back so this is giving us a list of um, all the companies that are um, owned by this user so to do the other thing we can do is to add get get okay so that it will actually execute and then um, we can pass it to the view so what we'll do here is we can just say company equal to null but if this exists then we can pass this here so uh, right here we can now pass this company we can say company companies equal to company cool now um, let us first of all try let us go and um, to our view and check do the same check if this guy exists then so in the view, we have this. Uh, we're going to pull up a list in the create. We're looking for the create the blade project create code. So we're trying to use um, a drop down, a select drop down. So I'll, I'm going to do um, a form group for a select drop down. This is basic bootstrap. So if this is uh, new to you, the yeah, and then we're gonna have a label and um, the label we we'll just say I'll select company so the label will have a um, select company select company uh, so we'll call it um, company and then we're gonna do a select box select select and select boxes always have uh, something called options so we'll do option option so um, we're going to give a name to the select box so we'll call it name the name of this select box we'll call it um, company ID because that's the name of the database so we're going to do something else where we enter a class form control we must have the class of form control for it to look cool in bootstrap so we add a class that says class is form control 
all right cool so here is where we will now do our for each loop so we'll do for each um, and for each and for each so we're good to go so we're going to do for each companies as company so we're looking through all the companies that we received here and uh, we're going to uh, while we look through we print out the list of companies so uh, every option must have a value say value the value of the company is the company id so we do company id that's the value so here the the what the user will see in the drop down will be the company name so we'll do um, a company slash name company name and this is cool for us only that we need to check whether the the variable was passed in so we need to actually check whether there is something um, inside these companies if company if, if so there is something inside companies then uh, we echo it otherwise we don't so that we avoid errors so we'll go to create and say if company uh, is not empty so we do add if so um, if companies companies is not null okay so we can do end if end if all right so it's time to test whether whatever we wrote uh, worked out so we can actually test we we'll go to a longer refresh first because uh, refresh is a quick way to save the world and once we refresh we go to create new as you can see it works perfectly because uh, we didn't have uh, a comp we didn't have the company ID so it works so what if we did project create slash one that is passing in the company ID let us see if the second field will be there as you can see the second field has disappeared but if the company ID is not passed in uh, the list of companies will be shown for the person to select as you can see the list of companies created by this guy so um, I hope you understand this then uh, in the next video we'll test whether this form works we've not tested it uh, we'll test whether it actually submits as you can see it's not submitting something is wrong somewhere so see in the next video if by this time you've not subscribed to my channel I don't know what you're doing so what you should do is go online right now on youtube.com then put slash c slash brain org then hit enter when the, the site opens you click on the red subscribe button by your right and you're good to go